Good afternoon. How's everybody doing? So I think this is just going to be a simple uh, talking head episode. I haven't done one of these in a while. It's actually harder for me to make a, an episode like this rather than being out on the mountain, have a big adventure. It's just like uh, so much snow has come down recently and everything that I look at uh, looks like serious avalanche terrain and uh, certain deaths. So the goal of this video is just to uh, sit in the van, stay cozy, stay alive and uh, just just talk a little bit about uh, about stuff. So I've been a full-time uh, YouTube content creator since August 2019 was when I quit my last factory job at uh, a recycling plant back in Ontario. Ever since then, I've just been uh, rolling with the videos, keeping them coming out on uh, a regular basis, usually about once a week. Uh, even back then, I thought it was pointless to create yet another fan life channel. I thought the genre was completely saturated and on its way down, but I guess I just had some luck and uh, I stood out and uh, people just were interested in seeing what I was up to in the van, which is uh, really surprising to me. Um, yeah, I was just hesitant to start showing this kind of thing. I thought I had a better chance with uh, bringing out bicycle touring videos and adventures and stuff like that. So it's uh, it's been a while to get adjusted and uh, to get my content in the, in the right form that people actually want to see. But yeah, I think it's always better to try and be original, find your own way of doing things. Don't just uh, copy the entire format of uh, another successful channel. I think YouTube is kind of like a big open wilderness where uh, you just you just go out there and try to strike your own gold mine and hope for the best. But even if you do manage to hit a gold mine in the van life genre, it doesn't mean that it's going to last forever. It will dry up like the big projects. Van building is always a hit or some kind of big expedition that you can go on it's just like you always have to be searching for the next thing and uh, your whole life revolves around it even uh, all the purchases that I make uh, usually have to do with YouTube like like grocery shopping will this look good on YouTube so uh, yeah it's just your whole life is out there on display and uh, you kind of have to be comfortable with that um, even though like uh, I try to be honest and I feel like I'm doing like an accurate portrayal of who I am it's still uh, probably seems two-dimensional like there's uh, parts to me uh, behind the scenes stuff that I don't uh, show on camera and stuff like that just uh, personal life private life that uh, I, I just I don't I don't know I just think it's good to draw a line somewhere and keep things to yourself but at the same time you're putting yourself out there and like you're kind of vulnerable to comments and uh, things can affect you so you have to be careful I know some channels don't look at comments or anything like that but I do personally enjoy uh, responding to questions and things like that. Uh, I think it's uh, a big part of uh, what makes uh, being on YouTube uh, uh, enjoyable. <laughs> but also as your channel starts to grow, it kind of reaches a, a critical point where things can completely change overnight uh, if you're not careful. But I feel like I've tried to stick close to my roots that the content that I put out now is pretty similar to back in uh, the early days but even when I was considering buying this uh, nice 4x4 van I was uh, I was worried I was scared that uh, my audience would get angry and they'd no longer be along for the ride if I all of a sudden had something much nicer but it's been positive and everyone's uh, been really encouraging so that's good but I still think you have to be careful sometimes you see channels they uh, become really successful and uh, a completely different personality emerges and things completely change but I'm not saying there's a right or wrong way to do things everyone has to figure it out on their own like if you look at someone like uh, Mr. Beast who just uh, started out as a kid in his room and now he's doing these uh, gigantic productions so it's uh, it's all pretty amazing uh, how things can go for people for most channels on YouTube it's different because uh, they can just stick to one topic whether it's video games music movies cars bushcraft camping or guns or whatever but with van life uh, you're kind of expected to show like a broad spectrum of life just how amazing it can be when you have total freedom to uh, travel around but uh, I see it in other channels and I definitely see it in myself how you uh, can kind of fall into a groove of doing the same thing over and over. For me, it, uh, it boils down to hiking and cooking. That's what I put out the most. Um, but I think uh, people do find some level of comfort in uh, the repetition. They like to check in on it now and then. But I also see the importance of taking on uh, bigger projects like uh, another cabin build or another van build or whatever just to uh, generate hype and get people excited again. 
Um, it's not really about getting tons and tons and millions and millions of uh, subscribers. It's more about trying to keep uh, consistent views and trying to keep people interested. Uh, there's, there's, there's lots of channels out there with a million subscribers that just don't get views anymore. So that's uh, probably one of the biggest struggles is to uh, keep people interested in uh, watching your channel on a regular basis. I'm over three years into this now. My resume is uh, basically wiped clean. I don't have any references anymore. I don't know if YouTube counts as anything, so I'm pretty committed to it. But I feel like uh, I'll keep creating videos uh, for the rest of my life, so long as uh, YouTube exists. And uh, if I ever do have to go back to the factory, I mean, I'm basically starting again from square one. And uh, also I have Rocco now, which uh, is kind of a problem if I'm doing a, a 9 to 5 gig. But... Yeah, YouTube, it is a job, and uh, there's struggles that go along with it, and uh, I need to take it seriously and keep the quality up and keep the, the videos coming out. But there's uh, a lot of benefits to uh, being a YouTuber. I mean, you're, you're your own boss. Uh, you don't have to deal with uh, angry co-workers or anything, and uh, you can work on your own schedule and actually do the things that uh, you enjoy. So it's uh, it's been a fun ride. And uh, even if I look back to like the first uh, van life video that I posted, uh, I looked really sad and uh, I think things have uh, changed a lot for the better over uh, over these years. I'm so glad that I found these bio bricks. They are my new favorite. Uh, I buy them at Ace Hardware, so whenever I see a store, I go in there and grab a bundle or two, but they fit perfectly inside the Cubic Mini Cup, so I just feed them in there one after the other. One of them might last up to two hours, and they seem to leave uh, not that much ash behind, so it's perfect uh, on a day like this when I'm camped out all day long, and I want to keep the, the wood stove going non-stop. So yeah, these things are awesome. Highly recommended. Even in this year of 2023, I think it's still worth it to try and create a van life channel. I've seen some new faces uh, take off and become successful with it, but if you're going into it, I mean, look at it as a hobby. Do it for the fun of it. Don't try to uh, compare yourself against other channels or look at it as a competition. Uh, try to be unique and entertaining, but even for the sake of uh, uploading your life to YouTube, I mean, it's uh, kind of interesting to have it there and uh, look back on it uh, many years from now. I feel content with where my channel is at right now. It's still slowly growing, but the amount of views that I get per video has kind of stayed within the same vicinity over the past uh, couple of years. But if I do a certain kind of video, like stealth camping in the city or a snowstorm or whatever, it seems to perform better than usual. But it's the same. When your channel grows to a certain point, uh, you reach a threshold where it might be necessary to uh, hire a team to help you. And uh, I've been right on that edge for a while. I still handle everything. I do all the editing and filming and uh, handle all the social media and respond to as many messages as I can, but it's just like mental burnout is right there in front of me and I have to be really careful with uh, how far I extend myself, but yeah, I think it's, uh, it's super common for uh, channels once they reach a certain point. If they want to continue growing, they handle someone to do the editing and uploading and uh, social media and just uh, have a team to help support you. Well, if you made it through all that rambling, thanks for sticking around. I got something uh, tasty for dinner tonight, some ribs, and uh, first I got to do a rub on it. So I got brown sugar, salt, pepper, smoked paprika, and uh, garlic. I don't know if I should bring this up or not, but uh, on YouTube, like the whole male versus female van life, it's a little scary how YouTube almost encourages females to uh, show some skin because they will get a very clear boost out of it. I just think the whole uh, clickbait and flopping around the goods is just such a terrible way to uh, go about building a channel. It's good if you can leave that overnight, but I'm just gonna do it right away. In the pressure cooker, the crock pot is uh, being left out tonight, it's abused. Pressure cook high. 20 minutes.
<laughs> it's unbelievable. This just always turns out so good. That was over way too quick. <laughs> Just a simple video this week. I'm just uh, checking in, saying hi before people start commenting and wondering whether or not I'm still alive. I uh, hope everyone's doing good and uh, had a good holiday season. And uh, I'll see you in the next episode. Hopefully uh, it's uh, going to be a more exciting one. But thanks for watching and thank you to Patreon supporters. And I will see you soon.